It was never going to be a straightforward hearing. Creature without legal representation yet again. I don't need to need legal counsel, my lord. You I will represent need myself. This after he claims he was blocked from consulting his lawyers while in Kokstad's maximum prison. Kretcher requested an interpreter. Mr. Kretcher, throughout this trial, which has been conducted in English, you have declined to have an interpreter. Is that not correct? Kretcher then launched an application for Lamont's recusal. You are biased, you are unfair, unobjective, dishonest, proven, proven untruthful from record. He highlighted media reports suggesting a plot to assassinate Lamont. In the media uh, last week, uh, it was the, another article that I am plotting uh, to kill you. Yes. To interfere with my prison conditions. And the CS did something about it. No, they, they sent me will, to Kokstad. Well, they must do whatever they want. I, I believe that you become part of this conspiracy since you start believing that I want to kill you when the chipstone break your front windscreen, for example. How do you know it's a chipstone? Uh, there is no merit in the application brought by accused one for my recusal and the application is accordingly dismissed. Lamont also refused to grant a court order for telephonic contact with Critch's lawyers and witnesses. My Lord, I, I would like to bring the application for to remove my chains on base of the judgment uh, state versus spirit. I'm not hearing that application now, I'm in the middle of doing something else. After lunch, proceedings abruptly halted after a bomb scare. We ask that the matter urgently stand down. There is a, a security issue to be attended to immediately. In the past two years that this case has dragged on, security on Kretcher was heightened for each appearance with a huge police contingent on high alert. But today was the first time there was an actual threat. The courthouse evacuated. A sniffer dog combed the area. The hearing continues on Tuesday. Jillian Pillay, SABC News, Johannesburg.